A stained glass window project 10 years in the making now coming to an end, but it's only halfway done with a deadline of six months. Tonight we take you inside the story of the Roots of Knowledge project. Dan Rescone joins us live and Dan, this is no small project. <laughs> no, this is a huge project, Mark Chana. It's something you have to see to believe actually. The process to create just one stained glass window can take months. Putting each piece of glass together times that by 80 and you begin to understand the size of this artwork. If there was a project of historic proportion, this is it. This is going to be a world-class attraction. A 10-foot high, 200-foot long stained glass mural involving 25 artists and 80,000 pieces of glass. That's 10 years in the making. It's called Roots of Knowledge. The mural starts at the beginning of time and takes you through the ages and the people that changed the world all the way up until 2016. We want people to understand that we're interconnected, that we have experiences that complement one another. The amazing intricate detail of subject matter came from years and years of research and artifact study. But there are also some hidden gems, like throwing in a little Star Wars or Star Trek or Indiana Jones. It will all be displayed for everyone to see in November at Utah Valley University. I continue to be blown away. Matthew Holland is UVU's president. Well, at UVU, we talk a lot about engaged learning. And one of the things I love about this project, this is going to be the ultimate engaged learning project. And knowledge, art, architecture, poetry, literature, philosophy, it's all science, it's all right there. But in order to get this project done, artists are going to have to practically work around the clock they are just halfway done, which means 40 more of these panels still have to be finished by the end of October. This has been a mammoth undertaking. For the brains behind this project, we are hoping to inspire. You could also say this mural tells his story, a triumph over weakness. You see, last, the, 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 Tom Holdman has a serious speech. I had impediment. It started when Tom was very young. At school, he was often teased and called Porky Pig. Porky Pig, right? How he couldn't spit out his words. Like, the, 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 that's all, folks. It got so bad, he feared being called upon in class. I said, please don't call on me, please. I don't want to say anything. The things I want to say, I am just Come on, you can spit it out. Tom wondered if he would ever amount to anything. How uh, like will I get a job? Inspired by his parents and his God above, he says he had a feeling to go into the stained glass business. I chose to speak through the uh, visual arts. Tom now runs Holdman Studios, one of the leading stained glass shops in the world. This guy, you know, like in the back here, you want to help put those in? He's done work on dozens of LDS temples and projects for the Catholic Church and other faiths. And now his pinnacle project. This idea was a seed planted, you know, into my heart. Roots of knowledge, showcasing those who didn't call it quits. You can do it. You can do it. That's what we want. Be inspired. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing thing to see up close and personal there. Now, Roots of Knowledge will be unveiled at UVU's library on November 18th. President Holland says he expects busloads of people to come from all over the country and world to see it. The price tag on this project is $2.8 million. They've raised $1.4 million by private donors. If you want to get, help get involved in the project, go to our website, KUTV.com. Click on Features for a link and inside the story. Beautiful. So it really is. I mean, when oh. you see it up close, you just it's amazing just how massive it is and yeah. what's gone in. Well, and it seems like you could look at it for an entire day because there's so oh, much yeah. detail within a very big piece. Too. And that's what they want to do is they, it, every little piece kind of comes alive oh. in its own.